Hey, good morning YouTube. This is the Tech Prepper. It's been a few days since I've been able to make a, uh, a video. Uh, so today I really didn't have anything planned, so I decided um, I would go over my ham radio go kit. And I'll talk about the goals here in a second, but I wanted to make sure you guys can get a good shot of this kit. And before we start, the goals I have for this kit, uh, one, I'm a technician class operator. I have been studying for my general license, but given that everything is shut down and the remote testing isn't fully available, um, I am stuck on the technician band. So basically uh, 10 meters for the most part for what I want to do. Um, and then obviously uh, six meters and then um, two meters and 70 centimeters for the things I like to do. Uh, so the goal of this goal kit for me was to have a lightweight uh, or sort of lightweight uh, go kit that I can use for doing um, soda. Um, so activations um, on my backpacks um, or POTA parks on the air. But if I'm gonna go to a park, I'm probably gonna have my Jeep with me and can bring more gear. So to start, I have 50 feet of 50 ohm uh, feed line. This is RJ or RG8X. And I just have a small carabiner uh, clip to the top. And the other goal that I have here is I want to primarily operate digital so I could cut quite a bit of weight if that wasn't my concern. And I'm in the process of refining my digital setup. All right, so at the top here, we have a homemade 10 meter dipole antenna that I made. And I'll do a separate video on this if there's interest. And it being my style, I have everything waterproofed. Uh, but yeah, this is my first uh, 10 meter dipole antenna. Uh, I think it probably cost me maybe 30 bucks to put together. Um, one thing I haven't really seen in the community is I wanted to be able to have my dipole resident on other bands and I didn't want to have to have to uh, build, rebuild the center insulator and get another uh, SO239 connector. So I'm actually using the Anderson power poles and I'm putting the red and black pole together but only crimping it on the black side. And then I'm using one of these uh, retaining pins to keep it together. And in all the tests that I've been doing, um, it's actually quite nice. Um, I, I'm able to string this up fully horizontally and uh, the Anderson power poles are doing a great job of staying together. Um, when I did build uh, these connectors though, I did use a, a nice $30 uh, crimping tool. So I think it's probably important that you have a good crimp on there. Uh, and then I have about, I don't know, maybe three feet of uh, line on each side at the other end of the insulator. So this is resonant on 10 meters, specifically on the digital portion of the band. So I don't need to bring with me my antenna tuner. Uh, so this kit can stay small on purpose. I also have in the back here, I've got the ATOS 25 antenna uh, from Yesu, and I built myself a carrying case. Um, I was inspired by a small, uh, basically doing like a small fisherman style uh, carrying case. Um, so I'll do a separate video on this, but uh, what's nice about the ATOS 25 is that it's an all band antenna that's designed to work with my Yesu 818ND. But I don't want to carry the weight, but optionally I could sling this over my pack and be able to work all the bands. All right, so getting back to the pack. Um, I love these packs from Haley Strategic. I did an EDC video where I went over my uh, Haley Strategic Flat Pack Plus. This was actually the first one I bought. This is not the Plus, this is a smaller one, but I do have all compartments opened up, so it's not as flat, but you'll see what this thing is capable of holding in a second. Okay, so again, in the theme of keeping everything waterproofed, I have stolen my wife's Tupperware.
and here's my signal link uh, for digital modes. I don't use a uh, single sideband voice very often. Um, in fact, the bands have been dead for most of the year. It's actually starting to get better now. Uh, so I'll put that aside. Then in this case, I actually have again waterproofed. My Yaesu uh, FT-18ND, uh, since I'm still new to uh, HF and this radio in particular, um, I've also decided to keep the manual here. I've got notes written all over it. And then I also purchased the uh, Yaesu carrying case for the 817, uh, 818. And the reason why I bought this radio was just given its size. So this is a, a QRP radio. It only does five watts max when connected to external power. Uh, it operates quite a bit lower if you run it without uh, external DC power. Um, I also did like most of the community go ahead and upgrade the power connector on the back to Anderson power poles. Uh, there's a uh, ham uh, operator on eBay who's producing these things and 3D printing these enclosures with the Anderson power poles. Uh, I'll put a link or I'll, I'll mention it below here because uh, I do want to give him credit where credit is due. Um, and then I have these little bands here I put on top. I forgot where I got this. I think it was part of packing material. But rather than having to use Velcro, I can actually secure my signal link to the top. Um, and in fact, right behind me I also have uh, my uh, auto tuner and it'll also allow me to put the auto tuner in between these two and still have everything secured. But again, the auto tuner is more weight than I need and since my rig is, or my antenna is resonant, it's really not needed. And, oh, and then I've got the uh, Antennas that came with the 818ND, and these aren't great, they're basically the rubber duck antennas, but it does allow me on the front, there, there's an antenna port on the front, and then there's one on the back. Uh, the front uses a BNC connector, and it allows me to put on the six meter configuration, two meters, and 70 centimeter configuration. Uh, for HF, I'll be using the uh, so 239 PL259 connection on the back. So for digital modes, what I decided to do um, is just for the sake of not having to have extra power uh, to be brought with me, I'm just using an old MacBook from 2014. This is the MacBook Air. Um, I do have uh, virtualization running on here, so I do have Windows 10. Um, and Linux uh, so that I can decide which software I want to run and it's pretty lightweight and I've been debating whether I want to use my Raspberry Pi but the problem is I have to find power to power the 5 volt system um, I need an external keyboard Bluetooth and maybe a mouse so for me this goes a long way and it fits in the bag all right so that's it for the inside and actually, I do need to show you this, how nice it cinches down. So here's the width of the flat pack when it's fully opened. It has a zipper on the outside that lets you collapse it. So that's pretty thin. Um, and this pack also has Molly or, Pal Molly or Pals webbing on the back. So this is actually really great if I want to take the time in advance to thread this onto the back of my plate carrier. I did a video on that the other day. In the uh, outer pouch, I've got, uh, I think it's either 50 or 100 feet of 550 uh, paracord so that I can uh, deploy my uh, dipole antenna. I also have uh, two old uh, hiking stakes, so I can do guidelines out if I want to deploy it as uh, an inverted V. Uh, here is the USB cable for the signal link. It did not fit in the box. 
And then I have a small bag of just some other miscellaneous bits and pieces. So if I want to do voice, I do have the mic that came with the Yesu 818ND. I have a very small uh, 3000 milliamp or 3 amp hour battery. Um, and this one actually connects really quite nicely uh, to the back of the, the Yesu. It doesn't give me a whole lot of operating time if I'm transmitting, uh, but you know, I usually don't do more than an hour anyways when I'm out uh, hiking and backpacking. And then I have two chargers in here. Um, I technically don't need to bring the charger. Uh, this is the one for the Yesu. Uh, my big complaint with the Yesu is that this power supply will only charge the battery and the charge time takes about 10 hours. So you can not even, if this is plugged in, you don't get uh, you know, full five watts. This is just for charging the battery. So if I need to save space, that will typically not be in my pack since I can't charge on the road anyhow. And then this is the charger for the 3000 milliamp hour uh, battery pack. Oh, just miscellaneous cables for the, the radio. Um, and then I've got a one foot section of uh, Anderson power poles for power. And just like before, I think what we'll do is cinch this guy down all the way. So I have to tell you guys, if you have not, this isn't a product endorsement, they don't pay me, they don't even know who I am, but this Haley Strategic Flat Pack is amazing. Um, it's just lightweight, and if you don't need a whole bunch of gear, uh, it fits nicely. They are kind of expensive, but this is American-made, America quality stuff. And then the last thing I'll say, if I do deploy in the car, I'll add a few more things. I'll add that ATOS 25, uh, micro with me. And uh, I'll bring along another couple of uh, bits here. So the uh, cat control, uh, I really don't need it since I'm primarily on digital modes and not doing voice. Um, so I'm happy just to mess around with the, uh, the dial. I've got my, this is, yeah, this is the 12 amp hour, 12 volt Biowena battery. I've done a review on this. These are amazing if you haven't seen these. And they have smaller uh, capacity batteries. I probably might look into getting a, a six amp hour uh, battery and maybe figuring out a way to attach it to the pack. And then this one is, yeah, this is the Z817 auto tuner. This is the one that's actually designed for the um, Yesu 817, 818, that, that series of QRP radios. All right guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, my apologies for missing a few days. Um, I just have a lot going on with her, but uh, I do want to thank all the subscribers. We just need one more to hit 50. Um, so uh, really excited about that. And uh, yeah, let me know if you like these videos. I'm trying to keep the um, the prep videos kind of well-rounded. Uh, again, I want to be one of those preppers that's actually using their gear, actually testing the preps, and not being a, a single item prepper, right? I don't see the value in having 100 guns with you know 10,000 rounds of ammunition. Um, I prefer to have a small radio kit, uh, a good uh, full-size pistol, a smaller CCW, um, a good rifle with me, um, a good loadout strategy, good set of medical equipment, obviously skills to use all of that. Um, so anyways, uh, feel free to smash that, uh, that like button, uh, comment please. I'm really curious to see where we can take this channel. So with that said, be strong, be safe, and think about your ham radio go kits. Bye all.